What is going on guys? Scouts here with Beefy Weber and today we're doing a walk around of the Scoutscraft server. When you first join, you will spawn right here, right where I'm standing. Right on start, what you're going to need to do is, if you want, if you don't want to look around and you just want to get started, then right click on it and you'll get all this stuff and you can equip it and go PvP or whatever you need to do. But that's not what we're doing today in Scoutscraft. What we're doing today is we're going to show you what you need to do or what we're going to show you is the actual server itself. This is going to be released either today when you're seeing this or tomorrow, I'm not sure when. And it's going to be pretty much based off of donations, how long it's going to stay up. Um, we're thinking about trying three months and then we'll see if we get enough donations to keep it up. But let's take a walk around. So over here we have our store where everything's fully functioning you can buy and sell each of these items and yeah these will never run out just staying if we go over here we have my scouts craft monument or my scouts and eyes monument actually and he will move around just go here, around a little. Hey dude, what's going on? So he's gonna get, he's gonna start looking at whoever's closer to him. So. And then there's Bryce's up there, all alone, with an iron sword. Now over here we have the bakery. And he's selling stuff. The economy is based on the iron ingot. Well, actually, the diamond, the gold, the lapis, and the ironing gate. So, everything is based around that. I think one diamond is worth 500 food bar, food hunt, like food hunger. So, this is Lucky Junk's mansion. This is my house. This is the bakery. This is Nick and Lucy's hotel thing he made. It's pretty good. So this is our store. This, I think we're going to make it a donator information room. I'm not sure yet. That was our first building we were going to make spawn in, and we just did not like that. This is a pub. They do sell potions and stuff. Uh, this is the main spawn. This is another Nick and Lucy creation. Still pretty good. A lot of animals. And then out here... If you would like to come out here, Bryce, we will show them a demonstration of the PvP on the server. So, here, take a stone sword. So what we're going to do is we're going to be showing you the PvP aspects of the server. And here we go. So you stay here, Bryce. Okay, ready? I'll tell you when. So what you're going to do is you're going to come straight at me. PvP is, wait, PvP is enabled past this point, right with the red, so right here, you're, mm -hmm. you're safe, and then once we go over here, it's not. So, this is the safe boundaries, where you want to be. Okay, best part of any server testing. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Ready? Go back over there. Go back over there. Oh, okay. In the safe zone. So, what your main goal is going to be is try to survive. I don't know what it is, but when you want to come back for a PvP well, fight to gain other valuable resources. Oh, you resources. can't eat food and spawn, apparently. You have to gain valuable oh. resources from killing other people. So, ready, set, go. So, say he comes at me, and he's gonna, he's chasing me, and he's like, really, like, good. People have been talking about it all Which day. Which is not right, or not true. People have uh, been talking about it all day, and they're like, wow, I think he's hacking or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to kill him, or I'm trying to try to get safely back to the main spawn without taking, or without dying. So, first goal is to get into spawn. That is achieved. 
Now, the second thing is just try to kill him without taking much damage or much unnecessary damage. So if we go out here and he comes at me, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take him around without taking much damage. So what we're gonna do we're gonna do this. Get him between these, which we can't block hit each other right swimming. now. Yeah, block swimming, you know. And we're gonna try to bring him around these. Take him around here. And then if you're damaged slightly or <laughs> a lot, then you can either run or fight it out. There it is. And there we go. And so, respawn. Or respawn back here if you die. All the way back at the main spawn. And we go to both. Yeah. So this server, <coughs> this server also has MC MMO on it, as you can see in chat when I was fighting him. It said sword skill increased by one, which means your sword skill increased by one. And pretty hardcore. Yeah, and it will make it so like with tools. Let's see if we can get out. Let's see if I can remember this. Wait, sixty-eight. Nope. And all this is oh, protected yes. all around here for quite a ways out. Yeah. So, so this is it. just made like just for PvP until you get like I don't know exactly how It's like it's like five chunks to ten chunks out. I made it random on each side. So Yeah, but, so So MCMO what it does is pretty much in buffs out your skills for more people who have played and also what it does is your tools when you right click on some of them, they will do this thing called like an like in, and like, you just griefed our spawn. And what it does so, is it pretty much adds an MC MMO ability, which is like a lot of efficiency. And you can go back and pick it all up. So as you see, that one is had serrated, serrated strikes. I think and I said that right. With Activated. certain levels, with certain levels of XP, like as you can see, I got five glowstone from that. It's because I was um, using uh, a certain level above excavation. If you use slash excavation, you can see that. Or oh, it's right there, actually, 63. At level 20, or no, at level 40, you start getting glowstone from the blocks. So, you can also gain other stuff, like uh, gunpowder from gravel. So that's the MCMO aspect of this. We also have a multiverse working, and it's portals. So if we we'll come over here, Let's fly. Let's go, Bryce. I already fled you. Or not. Oh my gosh. Um, well. Sorry. Alrighty. Over in this room right here. It says portals to the other worlds. Sign. And it says stuff. And survival games, which. I can't tell. What's survival games? On. Let's go on survival games. Let's go. Mm hmm So we have survival games working. You can join oh, these. Well these are the gonna be I don't know if we're gonna be planning on adding more arenas in here. We will, we will. Yeah. But those are the five main survival games arenas. The main five. Main five of yeah. If you don't get that then Never jump mind. in a hole. Jump in a hole. Um let's believe this is actually but down this right now, but it's gonna will... be down right now until Further noticed, as it says. All right, so I'm giving you guys a sneak peek of what it is. Technically, 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 you have our split screen around here. This is gonna be blocked in, so you can't see any. Then you have these little pillars giving off light, so you can run speed with no difficulty. You have the signs on these, which these are gonna be changed more. Um, these are the pillars. This is back to the main world, not spawn. That's all. That's all you get for sneak peek. Very, very minimal. Very minimal. And you probably, and if you're watching from my point of view, you probably have no idea what he's talking about because I can't get there. Link will be into my channel below, and you can see the video for yourself. Yeah, if you want, are that desperate to see what Spoof looks like. Okay, so yeah. then here's free build. Free builds in here, and and it's, it's plot, it's plot me. me. It's a plot me plugin. So. so you guys probably have played on this. It's on quite a few servers, but basically. So, the world is divided into these little, like, well, they're not really that small, but these squares. And you can just stand on one of them, and I don't know exactly if you're going to have to buy them. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So you're going to, what you do is you go and stand on a plot that's open, like that's free. 
and then you do the slash plot me by Liar as claim, you can we'll see yeah. yeah we will do another video once the server is completely and we're also really going to give you guys uh donator perks there will be donator perks and also you can buy pvp kits uh yeah. like we have one out already it's in beta it's so very... as everything else yeah but it is a is four diamond or it's one diamond sword god sword it has fire two sharpness five and looting three and unbreaking three and then the diamond chest plate or all the actually armor has well let's start with the boots and go up feather falling on the boots max everything's max feather falling and protection not blast not fire just plain old protection pants have protection and unbreaking everything has unbreaking and protection uh chest plate has unbreaking protection helmet has auto or uh, auto aqua affinity <laughs> and respiration along with protection and unbreaking and that's all for the armor and then also I'm not sure if we're gonna just for a limited time or not. We might just make it a whole new kit. But what it is is it it's um thirty no, it's ten god golden apples. What it does is it gives you thirty seconds of regeneration four, which is pretty much an instant heal on anything that anyone does to you. And then also um it gives you per resistance, which is like damage like non damage so you take less damage for five minutes and it's also fire resistant so you don't take any fire damage at all. Yeah whatsoever. so these right here that I have these golden apples not just the normal yeah, not these but those ones and the ones that he's talking about if you didn't already know. Wow. Alright well. so if we go back to main spawn now you will see that this this is here for the use of people when they first join the server, which I already went over. It's pretty much yeah. What I the went kit over. That... Yeah, um, we'll be doing another video when the server comes out of what you're gonna want to do when you join the server to get the the best quality faction you can get because this is a faction server. There will be raiding, people trying to take out your base. And what you're going to do is you're going to need, technically we'll show you later, the more advanced, but you're going to need to make an obsidian base to resist against TNT and use water. So if you don't have obsidian, you can use water to resist against the TNT. But we will go into a further um, quality look at the ways you can get through obsidian and the ways you can get through cobblestone and the ways you can get through water. And we'll go through all the specs of every item used for everything in it so that will be in probably the next video coming out besides the scouts craft actual server introduction this is going to be the scouts craft beta um i think this will be the last beta because we are ready to release it we're working on the last few things which is done almost at this point. I'm actually have two screens right now and I'm pulling up on the other one and we're adding the permissions nodes for most of you who know that is, I bet. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh we're adding permissions nodes for the final push to get it all out. So I do believe this will be out tomorrow. If not, I will try to get it as soon as you can guys. And is that all? I think that's it. So that is all for this episode of Scout's Craft with beefy weber beta and we will keep you guys updated and we will give you guys ip when it comes out that is all for this episode and as always guys have an excellent day today